Have you ever wondered what the journey of technology was like? The word technology is derived from Greek origins. Oxford Dictionary defines it as the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially in industry. Over time, as we humans evolved, so did technology. The control of fire, the invention of ships and wheels, these are all notable technological advancements. But it was not until the Industrial Revolution that the human capacity for production was drastically increased. Technological revolutions are any period of time where one or more existing technologies are replaced by new ones. And our journey starts with the first industrial revolution. The first industrial revolution started in Europe and the United States from about 1760 to 1840. It caused the transition of manufacturing processes that were done by hand to machines and mechanized systems. The rise of the steam engine in Great Britain along with other innovations like new chemical manufacturing, iron production, railway and transport systems and many others gave rise to mechanized factory systems. Then we have the second industrial revolution. The second industrial revolution is generally dated between 1870 and 1940, ending at the dawn of World War One. It was a phase of rapid standardization, industrialization, and many refinement of the technological systems that were introduced earlier. The most significant noble inventions include the use of electrical power, telephones, and the internal combustion engine. Large-scale assembly lines allowed mass production of standardized products, taking our production capacity to a totally different level. This required improved organizational methods and gave birth to modern business management. The enormous expansion of rail and telegraph lines allowed for the rapid movement of people and ideas, resulting in a wave of globalization. Then comes the Digital Revolution. The Digital Revolution, which started from about the early 1960s, is a shift from mechanical and analog electronic technology to digital electronics. Central to this revolution is the mass production and use of transistors and integrated circuits, as well as their derived technologies including microprocessors, computers, digital cell phones, and yes, of course, the internet. We are stepping into the fourth industrial revolution, Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 aims to use smart information systems to collect, transmit, and use data to add business value. That is why traditional business processes and manufacturing today are being transformed with the use of information technology. Among the notable technologies in this revolution, we have artificial intelligence, internet of things, big data, robotics, cloud computing, autonomous vehicles, and many more. There is no end to buzzwords in this age of information. What the future holds is hard to say, but we are expected to have some major breakthroughs soon in energy, biotechnology, genetic engineering, quantum computing, etc. It is also believed that we will reach technological singularity within this century. It is the point at which the intelligence of an AI will surpass that of human intelligence and will continue to do so 
at an exponential rate. Now that is both promising and scary at the same time. So why is it important to learn about technology? While revolutions are great, they come with a lot of challenges. Industry 4.0 has its fair share as well, like privacy issues, moral dilemmas, lack of standards and regulation, etc. But the most daunting challenge is dealing with the loss of countless jobs to automation and AI. Research shows that on developed countries like the US, about 30 to 50 percent of jobs are at risk of automation. While for developing countries like Bangladesh, it's over 60 percent. Now, just try to imagine a society where over half the people don't have a livelihood. It's not a nice visualization, right? While we made the future sound very dark, it really has a lot of promises too. Human beings are doing things that they never dreamt of, going places that they never thought they could. And most of that is thanks to technology. Don't be fooled. Many new jobs are still going to be created in new and emerging fields. You just have to continuously educate yourself because machines aren't going to stop learning. But one thing we can be certain about is that the future is uncertain. Thanks for watching. Take care.